close your eyes, imagine yourself transported back in time millions of years ago to a land before time. You are standing in a dense jungle, the air is thick and humid, giant ferns and towering conifers block out the sun, you hear the screech of strange birds and the roar of creatures unlike any you've ever imagined. This is Patagonia, 95 million years ago, and you are standing in the realm of a truly magnificent predator, Giganotosaurus. Our story begins not in the hallowed halls of museums, but amidst the windswept plains of Patagonia, Argentina. Here, in 1993, the fossilized bones of a creature unlike any other emerged from the earth, whispering tales of a time long past. This was Giganotosaurus carolini, a dinosaur so massive so fierce that it challenged the reign of even the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex. The discovery of Giganotosaurus sent shockwaves through the world of paleontology. Here was a predator that rivaled, perhaps even surpassed, Tyrannosaurus rex in size and ferocity. But Giganotosaurus was more than just a big carnivore, it was a window into a world we are only beginning to understand, a world ruled by giants. The story of Giganotosaurus is a story of epic proportions, a story of ancient ecosystems teeming with life, of titanic struggles for survival, and of the awe-inspiring power of nature. It's a story that continues to unfold today with every new fossil discovery adding a new piece to the puzzle. So buckle up dear reader as we journey back to a time when giants roamed the earth. Picture this, vast lush forests stretching as far as the eye can see, their canopies alive with the buzz of insects and the calls of exotic birds. Rivers, swollen with the recent rains, snaked through the landscape, their banks teeming with life. This was Patagonia during the late Cretaceous period, a land of giants. The air, heavy with the scent of pine and damp earth, would have vibrated with the calls of creatures long extinct. Herds of giant sauropods, dinosaurs with long necks and thunderous footsteps, lumbered across the landscape, their massive bodies shaking the ground. Smaller dinosaurs, some feathered, some scaled, darted through the undergrowth, their lives a constant game of hide-and-seek with danger. But at the top of this prehistoric food chain reigned a creature that dwarfed even the largest sauropods, Giganotosaurus. This massive predator, one of the largest known land carnivores to have ever walked the earth was a force of nature. Its powerful legs ending in sharp claws could propel its massive body through the dense undergrowth with surprising speed. Its jaws, lined with razor-sharp teeth, were a terrifying sight. This was no peaceful paradise. The life of a Giganotosaurus like that of all apex predators was a constant struggle for survival. Every day was a hunt, every encounter a test of strength and cunning. But for millions of years, Giganotosaurus thrived in this challenging environment, a testament to its evolutionary success. The discovery of Giganotosaurus presented paleontologists with a tantalizing puzzle. How did this massive predator, living in a world already teeming with giant carnivores, managed to not only survive but thrive. The answer, it seems, lies in understanding the complex interplay between predator, prey, and environment. We know that Giganotosaurus shared its territory with other large predators, including the fearsome Carcharodontosaurids, like the sail-backed Acrocanthosaurus, and the bizarre short-armed Abelosaurus. Yet, Despite this fierce competition, Giganotosaurus rose to the top of the food chain. One theory suggests that Giganotosaurus's success lay in its size and strength. This was a predator that could take down even the largest sauropods, something few other carnivores could manage. Its powerful legs and sharp claws would have allowed it to deliver devastating blows, while its serrated teeth, some as long as a human hand, could tear through flesh with ease. Another possibility is that Giganotosaurus was a social hunter, cooperating in packs to bring down its massive prey. While evidence for pack hunting in Giganotosaurus is still inconclusive, the discovery of multiple individuals fossilized together hints at the possibility of social behavior. If Giganotosaurus did indeed hunt in packs, it would have given them a significant advantage over their rivals. The discovery of Giganotosaurus inevitably sparked comparisons with the most iconic dinosaur of all time, Tyrannosaurus rex. Both were apex predators, both were massive in size, and both have captured the imaginations of people worldwide. But despite their similarities, these two titans of the dinosaur world were separated by millions of years and thousands of miles, each ruling their respective ecosystems with their own unique adaptations. 
In terms of sheer size, Gigantosaurus might have had the edge over Tyrannosaurus rex. Estimates vary, but some paleontologists believe that Gigantosaurus could reach lengths of up to 45 feet, slightly longer than the largest known Tyrannosaurus rex specimen. However, Tyrannosaurus rex was likely heavier and more robustly built. Their skulls too reveal different hunting strategies. Gigantosaurus had a longer lower skull with more teeth, suggesting a bite optimized for slicing and blood loss. Tyrannosaurus rex, on the other hand, possessed a massive skull with bone-crushing teeth, capable of delivering a powerful bite that could crush bones. While Gigantosaurus might have relied on speed and agility to chase down its prey, Tyrannosaurus rex's powerful legs and massive jaws suggest a more ambush-style hunting approach. Their brains, too, were different. Tyrannosaurus rex had a larger brain for its size, particularly in the areas associated with smell and hearing, suggesting a more sophisticated sensory system. The world of Gigantosaurus was not a solitary kingdom. Imagine a stage set for a grand drama, the dry plains of Patagonia baking under the Mesozoic sun. This was a world where giants clashed, not just with their prey, but also with each other. New discoveries have revealed that Gigantosaurus shared its territory with a surprising array of large predators. Imagine the tension in the air as a Gigantosaurus, its massive head held high, its nostrils flared, picks up the scent of a rival predator approaching a kill. One such rival was Mapusaurus, a close relative of Gigantosaurus, and nearly as large. The discovery of a bone bed containing the remains of multiple Mapusaurus individuals suggests that these predators may have even hunted in packs, posing a formidable challenge to Gigantosaurus's dominance. The presence of multiple large predators in the same ecosystem raises intriguing questions about competition and coexistence. Did Gigantosaurus and Mapusaurus specialize in different prey? Did they avoid each other or were their encounters marked by violent confrontations? The fossil record offers tantalizing clues but no easy answers. The sheer size of Gigantosaurus, combined with its predatory arsenal paints a vivid picture of its hunting prowess. This was not a predator that chased after small nimble dinosaurs. Gigantosaurus was built to take down giants. Imagine a lone Gigantosaurus stalking the outskirts of a herd of Argentinosaurus, its keen senses alert for any sign of weakness. Argentinosaurus, one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered, could grow to over 100 feet long and weigh as much as 100 tons. Even for Gigantosaurus, bringing down such a behemoth would have been a formidable challenge. Scientists believe that Gigantosaurus might have employed a hit-and-run strategy, using its speed and agility to deliver swift, devastating bites to its prey's flanks or legs, aiming to cripple the giant herbivore and weaken it from blood loss. The serrated teeth of Gigantosaurus, some over 8 inches long, were perfectly adapted for this purpose, their saw-like edges designed to rip and tear through flesh. Once the Argentinosaurus was sufficiently weakened, Gigantosaurus would have moved in for the kill, delivering a fatal bite to the neck or head. Such a hunt would have been a brutal affair, a testament to the raw power of both predator and prey in this prehistoric arena. Despite its reign as apex predator, Gigantosaurus, like all dinosaurs except for birds, eventually vanished from the Earth. The exact reasons for the extinction of Gigantosaurus remain shrouded in mystery, but scientists believe that a combination of factors likely contributed to its demise. One possibility is a changing climate. During the late Cretaceous period, the Earth was undergoing a period of intense volcanic activity, which may have led to significant fluctuations in temperature and sea level. These changes could have disrupted the delicate balance of the ecosystems that Gigantosaurus relied upon. Another possibility is an asteroid impact. While the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago occurred long after Gigantosaurus went extinct, it is possible that smaller asteroid impacts or other extraterrestrial events could have impacted the environment and contributed to the decline of certain species. The extinction of Gigantosaurus serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the ever-changing nature of our planet. It also highlights the importance of understanding past extinction events to better protect biodiversity and the future of life on Earth. The discovery of Gigantosaurus opened a new chapter in our understanding of prehistoric life, but it also raised more questions than it answered. The study of this magnificent predator is far from over. In fact, it's only just begun. Each new fossil discovery is a piece of the puzzle. 
helping us to reconstruct the world of Gigantosaurus in greater detail. We still don't know the full extent of Gigantosaurus's geographic range. Was it restricted to Patagonia? Or did its dominion stretch further afield? What other creatures shared its ecosystem? And how did they interact? Did Gigantosaurus care for its young and if so, for how long? These are just a few of the many questions that continue to intrigue paleontologists. The answers lie buried in the fossil record, waiting to be unearthed. Every new discovery brings us closer to understanding the life and times of this incredible predator. The story of Gigantosaurus is a story that belongs to all of us. It's a story about the power of scientific discovery, the thrill of uncovering the mysteries of the past, and the awe-inspiring diversity of life on Earth. It is a reminder that our planet has been home to creatures far grander and more terrifying than anything we can imagine. So, I invite you to join the quest, explore the world of paleontology, visit your local museum, read books and articles about dinosaurs, ask questions, share your passion with others. You never know, you might just make the next big discovery that helps us to unlock the secrets of Giganotosaurus and the incredible world it inhabited.